Peace family, Kanja Queen here. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the goddess Santa Marta Lubana, Philomena Lubana. Now listen, a lot of people know her as Marta la Dominadora, and she's known as a Gedessa. She's a powerful spirit. She deals with the, the dead. They, some say that she's a psychopomp. She's really good for dominating people. Now listen, if you have a really difficult boss, or let's say you live with people that's really difficult, or you have difficult neighbors, any type of difficult situations you could think of, yo, say Martha will handle that for you, okay? First of all, I just wanna say that, say Martha, she don't really rock with everybody, and there's a reason for that. She's a powerful ass Gedessa. She's a powerful ass spirit. And honestly, you gotta come at her correct, because if you come at her crazy, she gonna come at you crazy, or just ignore you. Now, I did videos about St. Martha before. Now, listen, St. Martha manifests as a big serpent. She's a serpent spirit. Serpents are known to hold wisdom, right? We hear about the story of the serpent and the Garden of Eden. But a lot of times in so many religious texts, we hear about serpents being evil. But when you study the indigenous spirituality and the indigenous paths, a lot of the time serpents and snakes and dragons are known to bestow wisdom, to bestow enlightenment, and to also deal with healing. Hence why you see the caduceus, which is the symbol of the two serpents coiling up the snake and the ambulance symbol, represents medicine, healing, mercury. Mercury is the oracle, the teacher, deals with knowledge and wisdom, right? So all of these sacred paths, all of these different hidden wisdom is actually packed inside of these images that we see. Now, St. Martha can manifest as the Catholic saint and then there's the black looking St. Martha who has like the afro, the big afro, she's wearing green, she got two serpents on her hand and a little boy sitting on her lap. Okay, now there's different stories about how St. Martha manifests. I don't want to get into the stories too much because there's so many. But I would say this, depending on which path of St. Martha that you are venerating, right? Um, there is the St. Martha that has the, the book in her hand. That's St. Martha la Bruja. Um, there's St. Martha, the hotter version of St. Martha that is used for more so like attacking enemies. There's the cooler version of St. Martha. You can kind of see her like dominating a dragon. She has like the stick on the dragon's neck. Uh, and then my personal favorite is the Black St. Martha, the one with the big afro. Um, she's known as being pretty hot, but this is the thing, right? If you work with your ancestors or you work with the dead or you work with necromancy, necromancy basically meaning like communicating with spirits that have lived a physical body, but they are no longer physical anymore. Um, they left their physical human form. There's nothing spooky or scary about necromancy or venerating your ancestors. If you already do this, then St. Martha can actually open up the way and help you communicate better to the spirits of the dead. She can teach you about sex magic. She could teach you about necromancy. She could teach you about divination. Remember, serpents bestow wisdom. Now, St. Martha's colors are red, black, green, purple, sometimes white. It really depends on the petition that you're calling for, right? Like each color has a different vibration. St. Martha is known for helping you to attract money and wealth. Let's say if you've been going through a really hard time, St. Martha is really good for destroying obstacles that stand in your way towards prosperity, towards good health, towards peace. St. Martha has been known to also help women to dominate a very difficult man. Let's say for instance, you know, um, you and your partner, y'all live together, but they're really stubborn. Maybe he's a Taurus or an earth sign, I don't know. And like, you know, once the earth signs get stuck in their head and they make a decision, it's kind of difficult to make them change their mind. Even though he might be a good person, right? Um, back in the day, women were not able to come upon financial opportunities like we are today. They relied upon the men to um, provide the bread for the family. So let's say if the man was to step out and he cheated on the wife and let's say, you know, that's your only means of income and he about to leave you and go to some other woman and give her the money, women would be like, nah, bro, that ain't happening. Say, Martha, listen, I need you to handle that, okay? And so St. Martha is known to literally like tie a man up and drag him back home. So the whole point is it's like she will make his life a living hell. And so he literally comes on his hands and knees begging you back. Like she's known to dominate the most difficult, stubborn of people. 
okay and I've seen it happen I've seen it manifest if you got a difficult supervisor a difficult boss and you want to raise you want a promotion and this person maybe they're sexist maybe they're racist maybe they just don't like you for no reason call upon Saint Martha and she will handle that for you okay now I just want to say this okay Saint Martha is very powerful so be very cautious with what you ask her because she will bring it for you but you have to build a relationship with that spirit and if you guys want to learn how to build relationships with spirits check out my video that talks about this okay I'm gonna pin it up on the top you have to build a relationship with Saint Martha there's a specific prayer that you can say you can even make your own heartfelt prayer um, for nine Tuesdays you have to petition her make a novena um, a prayer and each Tuesday remember nine Tuesdays you can't miss a Tuesday unless you're gonna have to start all over you burn a candle with St. Martha's image and you say the prayer now there's books that have the prayer in it the prayer that I use is Martha la Domina Dora for the oil which nourishes this lamp for the wick which burns away all impurities I dedicate this lamp to you so that you will relieve me of all of my miseries and help me to overcome all of my difficulties as you dominate the beast at your feet please provide me with good health and work so that I'll be able to provide for my needs I say I hope I'm in rock like I make my own little twist in it so that's the words that I use for St. Martha and you'll use that every Tuesday for nine Tuesdays consecutively to get her attention. Now her offerings that she likes is coffee grounds, she likes brown eggs, right? Don't crack the egg, don't cook the egg, she likes it raw. Remember she's a serpent, she likes her offerings on the floor. And she's also a Gadessa spirit which deals with the dead, the cemetery. So if you want to do cemetery work, St. Martha is there. And some paths in the 21 division, St. Martha is known to be um, the wife of Baron Sandy, but the god of the cemeteries, like she's his wife. And St. Expedito is their son. Now, like I said, I don't want to go into the different paths and stories because it's a lot of debate in the spiritual community, but that's just one of them. Um, and also, you can learn about this in the Encyclopedia of Spirits. They talk about Lubana. Her name is actually Lubana in the book. So if you're looking for St. Martha, you're not going to find it. Um, Lubana is the name. She also likes Malta Goya, okay? Um, as far as alcohol is concerned, St. Martha loves whiskey, okay? She likes the dark stuff, the strong stuff, like Jack Daniels, um, even Fireball. Like, I like to give her a little bit of Fireball because it's spicy. Like, once you get to learn St. Martha, you'll know exactly what type of offerings they give her. Like, she likes flowers, she likes candy, she likes sweet things, um, perfumes, definitely perfumes. And you can put a little bit of your perfume on and let's say, you know, if you want to dominate a person or if you want to have more of a dominating um, influence, you can put your perfume up there and whenever you're about to go outside, just anoint yourself with the oils or the perfumes. So that's my two cents on St. Martha. If you guys have any questions, feel free to drop it down in the comment section. Once again, if this video has helped you in any way, give it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe. So have you guys worked with St. Martha? Let us know what your experience has been working with the powerful serpent goddess, St. Martha. Until next time, family, Kanja Queen signing out. Peace.